Okay, so fasten your seatbelts, people. The post, the update about the patch that's coming today is absolutely massive. Now, I ain't going to go through it all, but I will showcase it all within this video. If you do want to pause the video and read through it, that's completely up to you. I'm just going to cover the main things I feel you do need to know about. This patch will arrive today at 12 p.m. PST. That comes with Revenge of the Cartels, Loot the Universe, and Mayhem 2.0. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So new content, added support for Revenge of Cartels, a new seasonal event happening from April 23rd to June 4th. Permanently updated Mayhem more to 2.0. So on screen now we can see fixes in terms of stability across the board. And there's quite a few fixes here to be honest. We're going to move on to network and multiplayer. Now this is a biggie for some people having many many issues. And there's quite a few fixes here for sure people so if you want to pause the video and read through it that's completely up to you now we're going to move on to gear and this is actually pretty important so i'm going to definitely cover this added additional sdus for bank size backpack size and heavy ammo and sniper ammo with all of the new gear that has arrived via dlcs one and two and events like broken hearts day and revenge of the cartels we thought it was time to expand the bank once again you can now purchase 100 additional spaces for the bank, as well as 10 more spaces for your character's backpack. With Mayhem Mode 2.0 launching today, we also thought it was appropriate to allow players to carry more heavy ammo and sniper rifle ammo. So make sure to purchase those SDUs and the others on Sanctuary 3. Now they talk about fixing exploits, so we'll go through these. They're just an exploit where players could continuously increase stats that are triggered when shields are broken completely or, or by continuously jumping off the map and dying. Such as with the shield, the Bang of Sitarak, which we all know about. A lot of people have got this at a low level in their banks because it is literally crazy what you could do with it. So that's been fixed. I just to report concern that the projectiles from the shooting star shield would not spawn properly. I just to report concern that the artifact drops were missing a stat attribute when viewing artifact with a certain combination of primary and secondary stats. I just to report concern that the combustion effect persisted when traveling after breaking the Staros' burn legendary seal the assault rifle. I just report concern that the knife drone artifact was not applying the correct percentage of healing. Addressed a report of concern that where artifacts with the knife drain ability life deal for 100% of the damage dealt. Addressed a report of concern that the boss or projectile damage was incorrectly listed when viewing the world warrior artifact. Now we move on to general fixes right here and you can see quite a few which you can see on screen now. Again if you do want to pause the video and read through these that's completely up to you. There are a couple here I just want to address though, as cash pickups now level sync correctly. And also address a report of concern that players were able to turn in a teammate's vehicle for parts if the teammates respawn their vehicle while another player is in it. I and mean, this is a glitch and exploit I posted quite a while back in the early days of this being released and it's just being fixed right now. Also, I just report concern that the beam attack from Grave Ward's head did not do the appropriate amount of damage. I mean, I wondered why I could stand in this and it weren't doing anything to me, but now that's been fixed. Also, I just report concern that players who are in spectate mode would gain experience from other players' kills in takedown. I mean, this is something a lot of people use to gain XP, and that has now been fixed. Also, I just report concern that NPCs were not fighting during the gun of the Alliance mission in Floodmore Basin. This is something I've experienced myself. So yes, quite a few fixes there people if you did read through them all. On screen now we can see audio and there's a few fixes here too. Nothing I've really experienced and I've seen many complaints on personally, but there's still quite a few fixes right there. And Borderlands Science, we see quite a few fixes here too, which you'll see on screen now. Moving on to characters and we see buffs for Moles the Gunner. During our investigations into Moles viability we determined a handful of changes that we were unable to include as a hotfix and are now included in today's patch. Specifically we've made some changes to allow a few of her skills to generate health or her shields. We've also included the damage output of a few skills. Daka Bear. When a player is in the Gunner's Nest, Iron Bear's weapons and turret now will deal increased damage. Force feedback. Added an instant 10% shield restore on top of the immediate regen and shield recharging. Russian offensive. Added to skill. While sprinting, the gunner also steals health with her weapons. Redistribution. Adds health regeneration as well as ammo regen after a crit. Scrappy. Adds weapon damage to the skill. Tor cross promotion. Skill also now increases splash damage. 
Ladder of Ingenuity. Skill also now provides a huge generate bonus. And we can see many, many other fixes addressing all of all hunters, which we will go through. Address a point of concern that the Gunner could sometimes be ejected from Iron Bear when another player fast travels in the same map. Address a point of concern that shields were no longer regenerating when the terrified health regeneration anointment part was activated with the Blood Lack class mod on the Gunner. Address a point of concern that the Gunner could escape the map by activating Iron Bear just before reaching a kill volume. Address a point of concern where the Forge Capstone ability for the Gunner would not fill up the user's magazine. When the reserve ammo is filled up after firing the weapon. Address the report concern that the bubble shield was not constantly activating when ejecting the iron bear before the shield was deployed while using the security bear and auto bear skills. Address the report concern that normal melee attack while in the iron bear did not launch explosive barrels. Address the report concern that the siren's character model would remain in the blitz animation after activating it. Address the report concern that the siren sustainment skill would not work while infusion was active when using normal bullet damage. Address the report concern that the siren's fracture skill did not trigger face slam anointed parts. Address the report concern that the siren's indiscriminate skill would reflect tug projectiles nearby when the siren damaged herself with it. Address the report concern that the siren's helping hand passive skill did not reset the duration if it was still active when the action skill came off cooldown. Address the report concern that the siren's remnant passive skill did not function after killing an anointed enemy. Address the report concern that the elemental projectiles from the siren's deliverance skill would not always seek out enemies. Address the report concern that the siren's glamour glamour skill would cause confused enemies to become immune and change allegiance. Address the report concern that the beastmaster's lick the wound passive skill did not apply its 30% damage boost after reviving. Addressed a report of concern that the Beastmaster's chance to fire an extra projectile per shot from Tufang can be stacked if the player's respects after triggering the skill. Damn, that's a glitch I covered a while back. Glad to see it finally be fixed though. Addressed a report of concern that pet healing from Beastmaster's who saved who skill could last for longer than intended after damage is done to the player. Addressed a report of concern that the Beastmaster's Who Rescued Who skill did not allow players to heal their pet by dealing damage. Addressed a report of concern that the Beastmaster's Ambush Predator skill did not have an icon on the hood indicating when it was active. Addressed a report of concern that the Beastmaster's action skill cooldown reductions from head count during fadeaway were lost on action skill end. Addressed a report of concern that the damage over time would interrupt or reset the stacked buff from the Beastmaster's stack buff class mod. Addressed a reported visual issue with the Beastmaster's royalty head. Addressed a reported concern that Operative Death Follows Close skill did not modify the damage of the kill skill best served cold. Addressed a reported concern that Operative whatever that says skill did not apply when damaged by vehicles or other non enemy sources. Addressed a reported concern that the Operative was able to gain more ammo than intended when using Digiclone with the double barrel skill. Addressed a point of concern with the operative where the calm, cool, collected skill would not trigger when an enemy was frozen by the operative digiclone when using a double barrel skill. Addressed a point of concern that the operative digiclone would share damage when the player still has shield capacity available when using the digital distribution skill. Addressed a point of concern that some enemy's projectiles could damage the operative when holding the shield. I am glad to see that fix, so that confused the heck out of me a lot of the time. So that had the fixes and changes to the Vault Hunters across the board. On screen now we can see FX, again nothing really I've had much issues with and I ain't seen many many problems being reported on this. We can see them on screen now and then Mission, again there are a few hiccups here and there but nothing major I can recall but those are the changes being addressed which you can see on screen now. And UI, same goes for this and changes here and fixes applied you can see on screen now. And a couple changes to our Echo Cast. Updated to support new items included in the April 23rd Borderlands 3 patch and late joiners should now see accurate donation timer during a Mox Tail event. And then hotfix notes which we will go through. In this week's hotfixes we address some reported community concerns. To apply hotfixes where the main menu until you see a sign that says hotfixes applied. And we can see a few other changes included addressing a reported concern where DLC legendary artifacts, the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge and Lunacy were able to be used when players did not own the guns, love and tentacles DLC. No, 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 they don't want that people. They want people buying their DLCs before you can use such things. 
Addressed at report concern that action skills could sometimes stop function temporarily for the operative when getting a second wind while the action skills were still active. Addressed at report concern that the Siren Soul Sap skills would sometimes target another player in fight for your life rather than the player using the skill when missing health. Added the legendary school crusher and cocky bastard to the boss loot pool in the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC. I think they mean school masher, but hey ho. Addressed a point of concern that the Staros' burns assault rifle combust weapon was sometimes not triggered when breaking. Addressed a point of concern that it was sometimes possible to use the Siren's face slam ability on the stairs leading to Joey's arena and prevent them from flattening. Addressed a point of concern that a black screen would sometimes appear for approximately 30 seconds when watching the end of the Katagawa Jr. title card during Atlas at last. And addressed a point of concern that exploding enemies would sometimes not die when self-destructing with the body system mayhem modifier. Okay guys and that is it so quite a lot of changes like i said now all these will be put into perspective on my discord if you do want to join that which will be linked within that video description i do have a dedicated section for trading hot fixes you name it i have it again linked within that video description but yeah guys many 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 changes coming one of the biggest patches we have had so far for the game let's hope it don't break a few other things because we know how these hot fixes and these patches can sometimes fix one thing but break a couple others. Let's hope that don't happen. But yes, increase bank sizes, increase backpack sizes, increase heavy and sniper ammo we can carry. Absolutely amazing. Tell me your thoughts on this down below in that comment section if you have anything to say. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.